Hi. Hi. So, yeah, for it. Where are you from? I am from Philippines. Where are you from? From the Philippines? Can you guess? No, I can't guess. I suck at guessing. How old are you? How old do you think am I? Mm, 25? No, I'm 23. 23? <laughs> yeah. Yes. How old are you? You guess. Um, I'm, I'm gonna guess 25. No, no, I'm just 21. Ah, oh, you're 21. Cool, mm -hmm. cool, cool. Yeah. So where are you from? I'm from India. Ah, oh, you're from India. I see. Yes. Cool, cool. So what time is it in the Philippines? It's, oh, it's 8 a.m. 8 in the morning. And you didn't sleep today? I just got home from work. Okay, what were you doing at your work? I work in the customer service. Okay, okay. Yeah. Like you have to call a lot of people or receive a lot of calls? Chat. Oh, you have to chat with your customers. Okay. Do you enjoy your work? <laughs> No. No. I hate it. It's very boring, <laughs> right? It's yeah, it's, it's frustrating. It's not a fun job. And you are doing this for how long? Uh more than a year, I'd say. More than a year. So do you want to keep mm -hmm. do you want to keep doing this or do you want to get a new job? I'm applying for a higher position in my company. Okay. Do you think you will get it? Yeah. Yeah. It's good to have some confidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I, I'm I'm confident in I'm confident that I'm good at what I'm doing. You're back from yeah. work right now. So how how many hours did you spend at work? Eight. Eight. Aren't you tired? So don't you want to get a nap or something? I'm too depressed for that. <laughs> So I'm just I'm, I'm I'm drinking right now. So yeah, that's that's what I do after work. Sometimes I'd play a little bit, but I I don't feel like doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. So are you in a university or working? It's like it's I say I'm working. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, in what field are you working? It's like a restaurant, that kind of stuff. Restaurant kind of stuff. Well, that, that sounds nice. I think you like cold stuff. Cold. Cool. Cold stuff. Cold. Like cold? ice cream. No, no. Cold ice cream. That's ice cream, right? Yeah. So I think you like cold stuff more. Mm, yeah, maybe I say yeah. yeah. Why not? Is the drink cold or it's in room temperature? It's room temperature. But some people drink it cold. Like what do you mean? This one? Yes. Oh, it's cold. Is it alcohol? But it's does it have alcohol? Yeah. Yes. Is it cold or room temperature? Um, it's. It's in the middle of room temperature and cold. Okay. Because this is my second bottle and I, I left it. <laughs> okay. Who do you live with? Room. Who do you live with? I, I, I live with my family. With your family. And your family is cool with that you drink alcohol? They know? They don't know? No. Okay, okay. Because I drink a lot. <laughs> yeah, they don't like it. Do you think it's good for you? No, yeah, not at all. But My liver is suffering. I know I'm going to have bad liver coming out of this. I drink like almost every day at this point. But um, it is what it is. <laughs> and doesn't it cost a lot of money? <clears throat> it costs a lot of money. And you are, yeah. you are working somewhere you don't like. And you are getting the money in a hard way. And you are wasting it. 
on your alcohol. Yes. And I have a terrible like relationship as well. Like, you know, like romantic relationship terrible right now. So it's just a bad state. Yeah, I say actually. You, do you want to like do you want to leave, leave the alcohol alcohol? Do you want to leave away? Do you want to get out of that addiction? Uh, like not it, really. <laughs> like you can talk with like like rehabilitation like that. Like you can talk with people like that. It's not I mean it's not bad. I mean I'd say it's not bad. I'm not I'm not like dependent to alcohol. Mm -hmm. I just I just like I can live like a whole week without alcohol. It's just I prefer to be drunk because um I like being like feeling numb. Oh yeah. So I understand like when you are drunk then you don't think that much. And you can't yes. really remember and you don't and... feel too much. You don't feel anything. You don't so... feel much. You don't feel your you don't feel the pain. So that's why people drink alcohol, but it's it damages the body from inside out. So it's gonna yeah, have some effects in your liver. It's gonna have some mm -hmm. effects on your health, on psychological health, mental yeah. health. So if you want to get out of yeah. that, as talk with some psychiatrist as soon as possible. It's just uh, like I have. I have a psychiatrist. <laughs> Talk with her. He knows I drink a lot. So how does he say? He knows. He told me that. He told me to be. He told me to change something with my life. Mm -hmm. Because. You know, like you said, I, I work in a job that I don't like. Mm -hmm. I I receive money and buy it and alcohol i have a terrible love life i have a terrible relationship with other people so he told me to like go find something else yes. change something in me and so that's why uh, i don't know i haven't thought about what i should do yet i've, I've thought of like moving out and maybe you know, it, it will force me to have something different in my life. But um, there are some things that I can't live. Like, I can't live in this house. Like, my sister can't leave her. So, um, and that's the reason why I stayed. I was literally looking for, like, um, apartments a few weeks ago already. But I, I just can't. I can't live her alone here. So, yeah. I just suffer. <laughs> the amount of money you pay, you get, like, you spend on alcohol for some time for one week maybe you can spend that money you can donate that money somewhere maybe it will make you feel good about who you are maybe that way you can get out of this addiction so this is definitely possible yeah i don't think it's an addiction though I'm, okay is it addiction i, I like, don't think so like if you if you if you are drinking it every day and you know it's not good for you yeah then i know i don't know if it's not addiction then what it is <laughs> that makes sense yeah it makes sense like my mom literally scolded me like mm -hmm. a few days ago because she cleaned my room mm -hmm. and found like 15 bottles <laughs> in my room i just hide it under my bed because i usually drink in my bed and just hide it mm -hmm. under my bed and forget about it um, go to work and do the same thing every day. So, yeah. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Uh, what happened? Like, I went to a big city someday, a few days ago, and I, I got sick. I got sick. I was sick for a week. I had some fever. So, so this body is very fragile. If you don't take care of it, uh, in the long run, like, it might have some problems like people spend uh, like people smoke in India and they get cancer mouth cancer and stuff like that so in India before every movie they will say that smoking cigarettes is like not injurious for health or something like that 
So. Yeah, I know. I know. And I, I don't feel like it's something that I should, like, uh, I mean, I get that. I get it, what you're trying to tell me, like, yeah. in the long run. Yes. And not gonna lie, like, my body's really mm-hmm. weak. I, I know really it's feeling body. good at the right moment when you are drinking, when you are drunk, it's feeling good. But, like, in the future, it's like your body is getting weaker. The more you drink, the weak, weaker you get. Right? Yeah, so. I know. I know, I know. Mm-hmm. But, uh, and, I mean, I have a weak body. Like, I have a lot of medical condition. Then but, exercise. Uh, exercise more. I exercise can't. Is good. Why can't? I can't. Why not? I have a too fragile body to exercise a lot. Like do you have I asthma have asthma or something? Asthma? Do you have asthma? Uh, on my spinal cord, mm-hmm. like I have a fracture. So if I accidentally oh. um, force it, oh. I'll become paralyzed. So no, no, no. you listen to your doctors, like yes. <laughs> yeah yeah so like i can run every now and then and sometimes i would run but yeah it's just maybe uh, you know i'm of, working maybe because of all these reasons that you are you think you are weak it's uh, encouraging you to drink more mm, now it's my mental health that <laughs> you can travel that I... you can you can like uh, do you get breaks from your job I mean, I do. I do and get two, breaks two days, for my two job. Two days in a week? Two days or one day? Two days. Two days. So you can save the money and in the weekends you can get out. Like you can like uh, move on a road trip or somewhere. Yeah, like, I've been thinking about yes. I've been thinking about that, but most of the time um, I spend my time sleeping. Mm-hmm during my day offs it's just like i feel like i'm you know i i literally just when i arrive from work i sleep all day and then i wake up i eat and then i sleep again so (laughs) it's just a lot of sleeping and um sometimes like i would have errands to do like adult stuff so i cannot really like go on trips and uh, like right now there's a typhoon there's a hurricane <laughs> so i can't go out as well like you have to you know you know about yourself much more than i know about you i just made you yeah, 10 minutes ago maybe so so you have, yeah. to, you have to make sure who you have to decide is this good for me or not if this is good for me i'll do it more if this is bad for me i'll drop it right so that way you can live a better life but i don't want to live a life <laughs> that's the problem a lot of people don't want to live a life and that's why they suicide i was actually supposed to kill myself today but i was just i don't know i didn't do it for some reason you are trying to but kill yeah. yourself today yeah I was about to. <laughs> then, but, you, then what stopped you? Because I cannot find the chemical I need because the store is closed. <laughs> what, what chemical so, do you need? Like, do you know silver cleaner? Cleaner. What is that? Uh, the one you, you use to make to polish a silver, like jewelries and stuff. Okay. So that has. That has cyanide, which if a person intake, like even inhale it, you'll die in a few, like, like maybe like 15 minutes or something. So, yeah, so. I was going to hang myself somewhere here. I just don't have any thought of it. Are you, are, you, are you for sure? What? Are you serious? Yes. Just talk with somebody. Talk to your friends family it will, it will make you feel much better do you have friends is there is he do you have friends like my friends my friends are at work I at this time uh-huh. yeah so i can't call them watch a movie um, watch there are good movies 
I did that. Uh, killing, I don't think yeah. killing is a good idea. The people try to I escape. Know. People try to escape from the reality. That's why they kill. That's why they want to take their lives. Mm -hmm. But we have just got one life, and for most of the people, this life is too short. I mean, yeah, it is too short. Yeah, but so um, killing, killing, killing yourself me means you will make it even shorter. So yeah, that's the it's point. A, it's a game. <laughs> Take it like a game. Don't get too serious or something. I don't okay. like games. Okay. <laughs> you no. like games? I like chess. You like chess? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. That's Do you have a... siblings? I have two cousins, but no siblings. Do you have siblings? I have siblings. I have a younger sister, as I mentioned earlier, and I have an older brother. But she doesn't. He doesn't live with us. So, oh. yeah. But so, if you sometimes this happens when you take your life too seriously like for young kids why do they cry because they are not prepared for the difficulty they are facing so but adults cry less so similar to you similar for you like if you don't want to feel like if you are not able to <sighs> don't take it too seriously okay go out why not get out get out of your room and walk walk in the garden there must be some good gardens where do you live mm. park ch not? where children play you can go there and sit and see how children are how children are so energetic children cure a lot of diseases you know that's why people get children right you can yeah. go out and there is a park children are playing you can watch them stuff like that you're a really nice person you know thank you uh, so okay i hope you don't kill yourself i hope you i hope you live a good life i don't want to that sounds so sad <laughs> but yeah thank you i appreciate that so goodbye Okay. Thank okay. you. No Bye-bye.